Quintera, a lush, sprawling kingdom of cornfields and poverty, sparsely interrupted with the occasional sparkling and perfumed city. The Promised Land, apparently, where the rich are very, very rich, and the poor are dirt fucking broke. But hey, it's all fine. If our good and gracious lords, the aldermen, find happiness from atop their fat stacks of riches, what could possibly be wrong? Get her! Captain, can you help me with this crate? Yeah, sure thing. Come on. How do I open this damn crate? In the dark of that crate, with the police right on my tail, I was in the unique situation of being able to do nothing but hold my breath and hope to be brought on board a ship that was going far, far away. Did you see all those pigs out there? How could I not? You don't suppose they were looking for- No. We're flying under the radar this time. Let's get in the cockpit. I want to be What the, the hell did I get myself gotcha. into? You know what else she's not gonna hold up against? Bullets. Where the fuck is your brother, Sketch? What's where you- <laughs> Fucking stars, Vega. All right, Sketch, you take the damn wheel. I'll go get to the engine and see what I can do about that alarm. The scuttle's gonna call in any minute. I don't want you to take it. Anyone... <laughs> You're saying- Make it quick! <laughs> Thank fucking- Sketch? Come in. Uh, Scuttle, are we clear to descend? Yeah, and hurry. There's company. Scuttle? I'll explain when you get me. Just be quick. Vega, get up here. We're going down. <laughs> yeah, bad news. <laughs> We're going to fall out of the sky if I don't start getting in these new parts. <laughs> it is not pretty down here. Ugh, isn't it a little <laughs> dangerous to be working on an active engine? <laughs> yeah, that's why I've got these welding goggles. Those goggles are made of plastic. <laughs> Which crate is that alternator in? And it suddenly occurred to me that I was sitting right next to what looked like an enormous alternator. Scuttle, I'm coming in. Uh, Captain? Prepare to board in 10, 9, Captain. 8, 7, 6, 5, Does it concern four, you that we've got three, a stowaway, two. Sketch? What? Sketch, you're not steady. Get out here, kid. Ugh. Get on the ground. Why do you carry around handcuffs? Shut up. Sketch? Uh, dropping the rope. Coming out. Take off as soon as I hit the rope. Wait a minute. Uh, ease up. Who are you? Vega, leave it a sec and come look at this. What? What has he got over his shoulder? What the fuck? Fuck? Is that an android? I'm on. Go! Oh, uh, shit. Help him get up here before you go back down. <sighs> Thank you, Vega. What the hell have you done, Scuttle? I need the tool belt. It's over there. Why do you... Congrats, guys! We've just been fucking hit! This was not the plan, Scuttle. Okay, okay, okay. Vega, you're gonna need to fly. Uh, no. I gotta get to the engine. Well, we're being pursued, and you have three more years flying experience than Sketch. You were supposed to be discreet. Things changed. Ugh! Vega, come on. Shit. Um, excuse me. What the? Who? Not important. Sketch, I really need that tool belt. Scuttle, if you don't start explaining yourself in ten seconds. Oh, can you hold this for a... I need to... I need to leave. You're bleeding. Uh, Alright, just hold still. I'm gonna get the med kit. The tool belt! Ah, damn it! Ah, I can't lose them! You okay, ma'am? What's your name, kid? Cordelia? <laughs> that was so bad. Try again with your real name this time. Cecily. Alright, Cecily. Can you scoot over and kick that tool belt to me? Quit talking to the kids, Scott. Ah, just ignore her. The, uh, the tools? Please? Here. Anything else I can... Oh! Hmm? What? It's an android. Have you never... Well, where did she come from? I, uh... I found her. She asked me to help her. Something wrong? I... Scuttle, what did I just say? Well, I have to disable her tracking chip if we want to lose those cruisers. What? She has a tracking chip? Not for 
long. Scuttle, what the hell? It's a long story. I'll explain later. There's the pub. Here, I found the med kit. Just hold on. I've almost got. defense, they probably should have heard me out before trusting me with something like this. You see, back home, I used to spend a lot of time assisting Amos, our android repair fella. As it turns out, the engine of an airship has very little in common with the inner workings of a mechanical person. This engine was enormous, and every part of it seemed to be moving independent of the others. I knew I'd seen something similar before, but in a cloud of steam with a blaring alarm and the heart of the ship towering six feet higher than me, it all seemed so alien and confusing. I did my best. Shit. to explain myself, but with a bloodthirsty, pixie-cut, red-headed ball of fury closing in like she wanted to murder me, I was left with only one option. Get back here, you little shit! <coughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of that tree, or I swear to fucking Pleiades, I will end you. I'm pretty sure you're gonna end me either way. Ugh. I mean, look at it this way. At least you lost those cruisers. Um, sketch? I think someone's coming. The pigs? Oh, hell. The weapons compartment? Blow off on impact. Fucking perfect. Hey! Don't you move. I am armed. Are you aware that you're trespassing on private property? <sighs> we are so sorry, ma'am. We had a bad bit of luck with our airship. I said don't move. Who do you fly for? The elder folk? Uh, no. No, ma'am. Don't you lie to me. You can bet you're behind that I will be reporting you to your manager, Fire Crotch. Ma'am, there's no Marlene. need. Marlene! Is everything all right out here? Everything is fine, Franny. Go back in the house. Who are I said get in the house. <gasps> oh, my stars above. Franny? Marlene, don't you recognize them? Uh, should I? Go back in the house, Franny. Why? I do believe that these are a couple of fugitives that the older folk put out a bounty for a few months back. Is this true? No. Well, well. Did y'all choose the wrong place to trespass? You're coming with me. Ma'am, we don't want to have to hurt you, but if you don't let us go... Are you fucking kidding? Why are your pitchforks electrified? Franny, you got your gun? All right, kids. Come quietly. Any one of you tries to run, and I'll blow holes through the other two of you. The farmers managed to get the pirates to come with them, but the captain was yelling and swearing all the way out of the orchard. In all the commotion, no one remembered that I was still up in that tree, watching the whole thing. And I wasn't the only one they forgot. I guess it's just you and me now, hi, huh, Android? Fuck. Of course it is. At least you held up pretty well in the crash. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Bit fancier than I'm used to, but you're all made of the same parts, huh? Ooh, I like that sound. Hey, Android, look at me. Yeah, hi. Can you speak? Uh, uh, you have any idea who I am? No. Huh. <sighs> okay, that's fine. That's what I expected. I'm not gonna worry about it. So, long story short, Tin Can, we were flying with some pirates, we crashed, the pirates got taken away by some farmers, and now we're going to go get them back. I think the weapons are up in the tree, but I'm gonna need to hand them down to you, because if I just throw them on the ground from where they are, they might explode. Is this processing? Who are you? Uh, holy, where are we? I thought we were headed for the city. You thought? Stars, this is a huge mistake. I need to go back. I need to... 
I need to sit down. Uh huh. I've never seen this kind of emotional programming. Um, are you all right? <laughs> okay. You don't have to hold the weapons if you don't want to. Uh, do you want to climb the tree and throw them down? I'm not so good at catching things, but uh, yeah. Can you stop crying? I'm sorry. <laughs> This is all wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. This is my fault. Uh-huh. I didn't mean to. I wasn't thinking. I, I was just scared of the... Oh, Pisces, I need to go back. Back to... My dad. I need to go home. Your dad? Well, if you want to get back, we'll have to fly the ship, right? But we can't fly the ship without the pirates, and we can't rescue the pirates without the weapons, so... I'm gonna need you to stand right here and catch them as I throw them to you, okay? Uh, I mean, you're not programmed to fly an airship, are you? Yeah, I didn't think so. It'd be nice if we could fix this mess and take the ship for ourselves, but... Well, that's alright. I'm pretty sure old models like these hold up against almost anything, so assuming those pirates know what they're doing, I'm sure we can get her airborne again in no time. Here. Catch. Oof. All right. Let's go on a rescue mission. What? You mean the both of us? Uh-huh. You know how to shoot, right? No. Good. Me neither. Come on, we better get going. Hold on. You still haven't told me who you are. I'm Cecily. Were you with Scuttle? Who? The man with the red hair. Oh, the pirate guy? Nah, I'm just a stowaway. A stowaway? Yep. Hit in a box, box went to a ship, and here we are. Oh, for Pisces sake. So, uh, is there something I should call you? No. Do you know your model and serial number? Uh, I'm an original. Ah. So, like serial number one? Yeah. That's incredible! Where are you from? What system do you run on? Excuse me? I mean, you're just a really impressive piece of work. I'd be interested to see what you're made of. What I'm made of? You realize I'm more than a bunch of moving parts, right? What do you mean? What I mean is, I'm not standing here asking about your kidneys and liver. That's not what you are. I expect you prefer to be treated as a living thing. So what? You think you're a living thing? I know I'm a living thing. Oh. Well, uh, sorry. So, you really never had a name before? Yeah, I really never had a name. Doesn't your, uh, dad call you anything? He has some names for me. Well, this is nice. Beautiful clear night, bright stars, lovely forest, and look! Both the moons are out tonight. That's a good omen. Actually, could we just walk in silence? Oh. Yeah, sure. Sketch, stop it. You're gonna hurt yourself. Sketch, I mean it. Even if you did manage to break through that wall, what would you do? We're 30 feet off the ground. I'm not just gonna sit here and wait for the pigs to pick us up. So what? You wanna break your hands? Just shut up! Lay off or scuttle. You're in no position to be giving orders. This is your fault, after all. This was never my intention. Not your intention? What did you think would come of stealing a fucking android from an alderman's estate? I was... It's complicated. She needed help. If you'd been there, you would have done the same. Oh, well, good job. It's much better off now that it's been destroyed with the magpie. Oh, that ship has been through worse, and so have we. This is shitty, but we'll figure this out. We always do. It's not just shitty, Scuttle. It's death, and you know it. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. I'll die, and you two will be shipped off to your cushy mansion and doting father. Don't you fucking start, Vega. Sketch. What's the matter? Don't you miss daddy? Fuck you. Stop. Just stop. We're not going to get anything done if we're fighting, so calm down. I am perfectly calm. A lot of noise in here. Are y'all okay? I made y'all some lemonade. I know it can get hot up there, and I wouldn't want y'all to overheat. Oh. 
That's nice of you. Don't think too much on it. They're only paying if we bring y'all in alive. Marlene, will you hold the ladder steady? Don't y'all go getting any bright ideas. I promise you, no bounty is worth more than my wife's life. Well, here you are. I, uh, I didn't know how to get it up the ladder in a pitcher, so I put it in a thermos. Brought y'all some glasses, though. Careful now, they're real glass, not that plastic crap them outskirters use. Here we go. Not exactly a bed and breakfast, but cozy nonetheless, right? Is there anything else I can get y'all? Uh, actually... Good, so, uh, now that we're all comfy, I'm dying to know. What did y'all do? Granny, come on. The minute is up. Just a moment more, Marlene. Granny. Come on. A bounty like that on folks as young as you? It must have been something big. Are y'all with the rebellion? Francis, don't make me ask again. Thanks for the lemonade, ma'am. <sighs> Fine. Don't tell me. I suppose I'll see it in the papers all the same. I'm coming, Marlene. See, I'm fine. They didn't touch me. Now, help me with this ladder. <clears throat> and don't y'all even think about jumping. It's a long fall, and I ain't gonna have no sympathy for y'all if you break your legs. Cost me a fortune. Come on, Franny. We'd best wait for the police out front. Last thing we need is one of them poking around. At least the lemonade isn't too bad. Vega, could you please take it? Mm, mm, mm. No, really, you guys should try this. Could be the last time we taste something that isn't police brutality. Vega, I'm pretty sure this came from a powder. So critical. What is that? This is a rescue mission! Quick, everyone, get on the tractor! Let's go! What the fuck? Cecily! Oh, shit. You guys are a lot higher up than I thought you'd be. Uh, okay. I'll hold out my arms and you guys jump. Oh, my stars. What are you doing here, you little fuck? It's my fault you guys are in this mess. It's only right I get you out of it. That's bullshit. You just don't know how to fly an airship. Also true, but not the point. We need to get you guys out of here. Cecily, where's the android? I'm here. She glitched and curled up into a ball as soon as I started driving. That wasn't a glitch. I'm glad to see you're okay. Look, kid, there's a ladder right fucking there. Can you get one thing right tonight? Aye, aye, Captain. Don't. Don't do that. We got your weapons, and the ship is mostly intact. So we just need to... What? Hurry up, they're coming. Everyone grab onto something. I just found the gas pedal ten minutes ago. Hi, safe. Let me drive. Let's fly, Sketch. Damn it! Which way's the ship? You're going the wrong way. Get out of the tree. Oh, Why is this tractor so fast? Watch where you Is everyone okay? Uh, yeah. Yes, but also. Run. Everyone on board. Vega, get to the wheel. The engine. Cross your fingers and hope the cooldown helps. Go. Buckle in, you two. This isn't gonna work. Not with that attitude. Do we have to bring the kid with us? Vega, I'm trying. She's not responding. Vega, please. And I saw the hope draining from everyone's face. And I saw the tool belt forgotten on the ground. And I saw the hatch to the engine hanging open. And I barely even heard Sketch when she ordered me to sit back down. Kid, get out of there. You're only gonna make things worse. I can do it. Automatons and airships, they're not that different. Um, yes, they are. No, they're not. You can't look at them for the parts. You have to see them as a living thing. That's what I did wrong the first time. Everyone get down. Fine, please. Just this once let something go right in my life. Come on, come on, come on. Did it? That was really good timing, kiddo. Thanks. Vega, 
Amiga, are we home free? I'm gonna give us some distance, but it doesn't look like we're being followed. I can't believe it. We're alive. Um, excuse me. Oh, shit. My arm, it's not responding. They hit you? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you get down when Scuttle said? I'm sorry, I was buckled in. Any chance you could patch that up, kid? They blew clean through the shoulder joint. I don't think this ship has the tools. You have to fix this. I can't go home like this. My dad's gonna- What are you- After all that, you want to go back? I, uh, I didn't mean to- Please don't start crying again. It cries? Man, that is so creepy. Fix me. Please, please, I'll do anything. Okay, okay, calm down. We'll fix you, okay? Uh, I guess we could take her to Hawken? Uh, uh, yeah, I know, but he owes us one. <sighs> yeah, fine. Vega, you catch that? Y'all had better not be making plans to go anywhere until I get that new alternator in. I'm gonna set us down as soon as I find a clear enough spot. Kid, what's your name? Cecily. If I bring you down to the engine with me, you gonna screw up again, Cecily? Nope. Good. Scuttle, I'm gonna gather up what's left of the med kit and take a look at your bandages. Stay here and just don't do anything, okay? Oh, good. My one and only talent. Just stay here with, uh, with, I'm sorry. What's your name? I, I don't. She's serial number one. What? Well, she's an original, which means she's the first of her kind, so technically that would make her number one. Uh, is that what we should call you? Number one? Numero uno. How about that? Uno. You're so dumb. That's a masculine name. Are you seriously assigning a gender to a name? I'm just saying, if she's gonna have a stupid name, it might as well be something pretty. Like, you know. Hey assholes, brace yourself for impact. I'm about to descend. Think on it. Cecily, buckle in. Does anyone see a bottle of iodine rolling around? So what do you think? It doesn't matter to me. Seriously? A name is a personal thing. You should at least have control over what you're called. I have no qualms with just calling her Android. Serial number one! We could call you SNO! Okay, okay. I think... I think I like... Yuna. Call me Yuna. Welcome aboard the Magpie, Yuna. The Remarkable Magpie is an original radio production created by Emily Parent and Beth Smedley and produced and edited by Emily Parent. The voice of Cecily is Franny Parent. The voice of Yuna is Emma Cole. The voice of Vega is Lila Bedrosian. The voice of Captain Sketch is Anne Hughes. And the voice of Scuttle is a secret. All music was written and performed by Jordan Evans. Comments, questions, personal insults, and cute pictures of your cat can be directed to theremarkablemagpie at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at Aboard the Magpie or YouTube and Facebook at The Remarkable Magpie. Tune in next month for episode two, Repairs. And from all of us on the Magpie crew, thank you for listening. Your faces.